The King's Chessboard Written by David Birch Illustrated by Davis Grabu Once long ago in what is now India, there lived a wise man who performed a service for the king of Dakan. In due course, the king summoned the wise man to appear before him. You have served me well, said the king to the wise man. What do you wish as a reward? The wise man bowed and said, Serving your majesty is reward in itself. Indeed, indeed, said the king, but it must not be said that the king does not reward those who serve him. Truly, sire, said the wise man, I wish no other reward than to serve you again. But I wish you to be rewarded, said the king in a stern voice. There was a quiet murmuring among the counselors and nobles assembled in the great hall. The king was getting angry, but the wise man seemed not to notice. Truly, sire, the wise man said calmly, I can think of no way you could reward me. You shall choose a reward, said the king, or I promise you will wish you had. The wise man was silent for a long time, and then the small wooden chessboard next to the king seemed to catch his interest. Very well, sire, the wise man said at last. I ask only this. Tomorrow, for the first square of your chessboard, give me one grain of rice. The next day, for the second square, two grains of rice. The next day after that, four grains of rice. Then, the following day, eight grains of rice for the next square of your chessboard. Thus, for each square, give me twice the number of grains of the square before it, and so on for every square of the chessboard. Now, the king wondered, as anyone would, just how many grains of rice this would be. He thought of grains of rice on a chessboard. There were 64 squares. Would that be a pound of rice in all? The king wasn't sure. At this point, the queen whispered to him. It seems that the simplest thing to do would be to ask him how much rice that is. Indeed, that would have been simple, but it also would have made it obvious to everyone that the king was not sure how much rice it was, and the king was too proud to let anyone think he was ever unsure of anything. So he did not ask the question. Instead, he smiled royally and said to the wise man, Your complicated request is most simply granted. This caused a stirring of laughter among the counselors and nobles. There was much amusement at this simple old man and his odd request. To add to the humor, the grand superintendent of the king's granaries had a servant carry the first little grain of rice on a gleaming silver tray, but the wise man merely thanked the servant and placed the grain on the first square of his chessboard. When the king heard this, he placed a grain of rice on his first square of his chessboard. On the second day, two grains of rice were sent to the wise man, and the king and the wise man each placed a grain of rice on the second square of his chessboard. And so it went, four grains of rice to the wise man on the third day, and a grain of rice on the third square, and so on. On the eighth day, there was no servant in splendid dress, but only an ordinary granary worker bringing 128 grains of rice in a small pouch. The wise man placed one grain on the eighth square of his chessboard and threw the rest to a bird outside his window. By now, the king had quite forgotten the wise man and his rice, and it was left to a servant to place a grain on the eighth square of his chessboard. The actual counting of the grains of rice was left to the weigher of the king's grain, 256 grains, then 512, then 1,024. Dear me, said the weigher to himself on the twelfth day, soon I'll be counting grains all day long. So instead of counting out 2,480 grains of rice, he simply weighed out an ounce of rice and sent it to the wise man. Only four days later, the wise man was sent a small bag of rice weighing 16 ounces or one pound. He placed one grain on the 16th square of his chessboard and gave the rest to a beggar. But at the granaries, the weigher had become worried. Tomorrow, he said to himself, it will be two one-pound bags, and the next day it will be four. He calculated the amounts, eight, 16, 32. When he got to 2,480 bags, he stopped in alarm. I must tell the grand superintendent of the king's granaries at once. Created using Powtoon.